Now to our market panel, we have Bill Greiner. He is Mariner Wealth Hi. Advisors CIO. Sandy Lincoln is BMO Global Asset Management, U.S. Chief Market Strategist. And Larry Shover, live in the pits of the CMA. Larry, I want to start with you. Uh, we mentioned housing, by the way, when we came in. Nobody saw a year ago housing taking off great guns the way it has. Is there one area, maybe one sector, that you would look at uh, for 2013 to be the surprise takeoff stock or sector for 2013? Yeah, for me, it would be definitely financials. And, and it's just going to continue to go just like it did this past year, because I think we're all, including the market, completely underestimating the tailwind that the recovering housing market's going to have. Even like the median estimates for next year is that housing is going to rise by maybe three or four percent. That's wonderful for financials. So that's the area, if you're not in, I would get in right away for 2013, even though it's already started to move and has moved for the past six months. Okay, so you're saying double down on financials, but now my question is, what is the financial sector of 2013, aside from financials, Larry? I mean, what is that outlier that will do beautifully as well? Well, I think the outlier is going to be something like Bank of America, which has doubled in price, but the exposure that, that they have outlier? to the market. <laughs> Well, it's an outlier because it's already gone up 100 percent. People are going to say, I don't want to double up on something like that. That's already uh, gone up 100 percent. I still think it's got a lot more room to go higher, given the recovery that we're going to continue to see in the housing sector. Bill Greiner, the other stock or sector that people see is, as having a lot more room to grow to the north side is natural gas. There are a lot of folks. we got Wilbur Ross coming on a little later on. He's investing in natural gas in China. Is that one sector in particular that we should look for plays in? We, we think it really is, and it's great to be uh, coupled with a, with a, with a firm and, a, and an individual like Wilbur Ross on this issue. It's a very good company as far as I'm concerned. We very much like MLPs, Master uh, Limited Partnership Investments, primarily natural gas pipelines here in the U.S., and also China. You mentioned uh, Mr. Ross is very keen on, on China in general, perhaps. We are, too, and we really expand that out to Asia. We like the Asian markets going forward into 2013 simply because the world is starving for growth. This is an area of the world where growth is probably the strongest or among the strongest in the world, and that's an area we think in 2013 that should do reasonably well. Sandy Lincoln, look at these markets <laughs> over the past year. You have double-digit gains for the S&P, for the Russell 2000, for the NASDAQ. Do we see that again in 2013, and are you very bullish going ahead? Well, I don't know about very bullish, but I think cautiously bullish. I think if you go back to November 1st, just to give you a quick, quick perspective, markets have basically gone nowhere in November and December as we did deal with, dealt with elections. We dealt with the fiscal cliff. Uh, even last Friday, we were off 158. We're up 158 today. I think the key here, Liz, is if we get a fiscal deal that really addresses the long-term trajectory, that might be the final piece of the Rubik's Cube that could lift markets and take them up to double-digit gains for 2013. Otherwise, we think the market sort of delivers a 6 7% kind of return for the year, tracking the performance of earnings in, uh, in the S&P, for example. Well, Sandy, we'll talk about what you like, but you're staying away from some of the big names. Uh, I'm interested in why you're staying away from the big names and then why in particular. I, one of my favorite movies from uh, 2012 was Hunger Games, and of course that was produced by Lionsgate, and that was one of your picks. We'll get to Lionsgate in a second, but why stay away from the big names in 2013? Well, then I think investors are well served, David, by, by really being well diversified. And clearly, you need to own the big names. But I thought it might be fun on New Year's Eve to have some names that weren't on the beaten path. Everybody's been talking about the Bank of America's and the big dividend payers and the global footprints. So we brought some names that have a more domestic footprint, our medium and smaller companies. And the thing you really want, regardless of big or small, are companies that are executing their business and have a business that really dominates their market share. And that's, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so that brings us back to Bill, who is more cautious. And Bill, as I understand, I mean, you're looking at a possible recession here, that there's a, there's a decent enough chance that we would see a recession. That said, how are you investing your clients' money? Looking for very high quality at decent values, and, and one of the names that we're uh, moving towards and have been moving towards for a period of time now is Apache Petroleum. Apache sells at about one times book value, seven times earnings. 
and this is a company that historically has been a very, very high quality player. We think they're looking at maybe a quarter or two of fairly negative uh, comparables on earnings. And then sometime, probably middle of next year, you're going to start to see earnings acceleration out of Apache. So pick your spots, pick your quality, and stay with it. Uh, Sandy, we mentioned Lionsgate. <laughs> uh, enough said about that. Not only they have Hunger Games, but also those vampire movies. Angie's List. Why do you like Angie's List? A lot of people are saying that's the sort of stuff that is very iffy at this stage in the game of the Internet. Well, I don't think it's iffy at all because they've got a unique position in the Internet uh, space, I think, David. And the space they have that's unique is that they have service providers on a regional basis lined up with members on a regional basis. So if you're looking for services for home or lawn care or health providers or auto providers, you can get verifiable referrals from Angie List. Those service providers advertise. That's one stream of income into Angie's List. The other is the membership. And this is a company that's exploding top line revenues. They just went public in 2011. We think a really quality internet space at a pretty attractive entry point, probably turn profitable here in the next year or two. They've been investing in the top line almost exclusively. And we think a really quality play in the internet space. Well, good to see all of you. Let's, let's see if we can have some Pleasure. positive predictions going <laughs> into 2013. Happy New Year. Bill Greiner, Sandy Lincoln, Pleasure. and of Thank course, you. Larry Show.